This is Jim Williams with the Hurricane City update for October 13th, 4 p.m. In yesterday's tropical update, I talked about the closest point of approach to the Yucatan Peninsula using the HerTrack program. Now, at that time, Hurricane Paula was down here at the bottom of the screen, and the projection was for this to move north, northwest, and then north, staying well east of the Yucatan Peninsula. And that's exactly what happened this morning. In fact, here is the radar shot from the closest point of approach of Hurricane Paula. It almost nailed it. Let's go back and look at it again. There it is. And there is the actual position of Paula as it came the closest to the Yucatan Peninsula. By the way, the winds were light and variable over land here. Northwest winds around 12 to 15 miles an hour. So this is probably not going to be even be considered as a brush for the Yucatan Peninsula of Co Cozumel and Cancun, which are two cities in the Hurricane City database. Now let's see where the system is going to go based on the current forecast. And here's the animation of the herd track program showing a right hand turn over Cuba, right near Havana, Cuba, and then dissipating over land. But there are some models that think otherwise, and I think this might come a little bit closer to the Florida Keys than what the National Hurricane Center is forecasting. But it uh, does show it coming within 100 miles of Key West at this point, even in the official forecast. Now the hurricane hunters are out there this afternoon. Now here's all the vortex messages going over the last 24 hours or so. And we start out down here with a rapidly strengthening system. We had 981 millibars. And then uh, yesterday as it was approaching the uh, east of Cancun, Cozumel, Mexico, we had 985 millibars and uh, still a category two strength. Now this, this evening, we're seeing the pressure rising, 991 millibars, 992, and the latest pressure was 993 millibars. So we have a Category 1 now, uh, well east-northeast of Cancun, Mexico, making the right-hand turn towards Cuba, and it's in the Yucatan Channel right now, but that should start hanging a right-hand turn real fast here and weakening rapidly. Um, and there's a eight nautical mile wide eye and there's only about a four degree temperature differential between the inner and the outer eye wall so we definitely have a weakening system here uh, this evening as it heads into Cuba. Here's the radar from uh, western Cuba and this can be found by clicking Havana Cuba which is our current feature at Hurricane City and choose option number one under radars and that'll give you the animated radar as this heads into Cuba and there is one webcam in Havana, Cuba, too, by the way. But this is going to be mainly a rainstorm for Cuba. It's not going to be a wind event for them. All right, here is the close point of approach to Key West, according to the official forecast from the National Hurricane Center. 95 nautical miles south-southwest of Key West as it moves toward the east and dissipates over land. But again, that... GFDL model has it very close to the Florida Keys and that's why there's a tropical storm watch out for the Keys and I believe that might may turn into a warning overnight because this could come a little bit further north than what they're anticipating but I do believe it'll weaken down to tropical storm by the time it gets anywhere near the Florida Keys so it'll begin it'll be a rain and a little bit of wind but mainly a rain event uh, for the areas that are affected by Hurricane Paula slash tropical storm Paula by tomorrow. Now here's the best performing model on the system. This is the BAM-D and so far over a five day forecast the BAM-D has been the best performer uh, off by about 100 miles and um, this has it uh, heading over South Florida but there's two reasons why this probably will not happen. First of all uh, Paul is down here and it's hanging a right hand turn. It's not even going to get this far north in the uh, Florida Strait. Secondly the BAM D is the beta and advection model, deep model, which is for more intense hurricanes and hurricanes that reach farther up into the atmosphere. And they tend to get pulled more poleward when there's stronger hurricanes, which would take it over South Florida. But this is going to be a weak system, so it more than likely will travel something like this, would be my most likely bet. Uh, north of Havana and right through the Florida Straits is probably the most likely scenario at this time. Now here were the models when this was way down near Nicaragua, Honduras, and this can be found using the best performing or the model history on Paula, which is right below the hurricane tracking chart at Hurricane City. And you can see here that the best performing model was the GFDL. Look at this, the GFDL model had it right here splitting the uprights between Cuba and the Yucatan, and then heading northeast near Havana and right through the Florida Straits into the Bahamas. And that's almost exactly what's happened to this point. So the GFDL model has done a very good job on this uh, for, compared to all the other global models. 
on this system and, and the uh, BAM models. It's done the best performer out of all of those. So let's see what the GFDL calls for today. There's the latest map. And again, very close to the Florida Keys as a tropical storm and then moving into the Bahamas. And in fact, near the central Bahamas going over Andros Island. The BAM models pretty much take it over South Florida. So Florida could end up getting uh, some decent effects, maybe a few inches of rain, some gusty winds. But overall, this is going to be a weak system as it comes near the Florida Keys. Here's the wind shear analysis going out about 48 hours. This is going into Friday. And by that time, uh, whatever's left of Paula should be over in this area right here in the Bahamas. And it's going to be sheared pretty good as it heads off to the northeast. Uh, but this will not be strengthening by any stretch because of all the wind shear and dry air out uh, in front of Hurricane Paula. Right, let's take a look at the LSU dry air map and you can see that the green aqua areas indicate dry sinking air and there's a whole bunch of it moving down on Paula right now through the Gulf of Mexico and right here and, the, and it's coming south and it's going to kick this thing on out but I, again I think this is going to come pretty close to the Florida Keys uh, mainly because of the flow out in front of this is mainly east northeast so it, I think this is going to be uh, through the Florida Straits near the Florida Keys as a tropical storm and then out through the Bahamas and into the Atlantic I don't I'm not really buying the track from NHC having this going back down or weakening over Cuba or going back down into the Caribbean. I think this is going to shoot right through the Florida Straits and into the uh, Bahamas. But we'll have to see about that. Anyway, that's about it for now. You can check out the latest at HurricaneCity.com on Hurricane Paula. That's it for now. Thank you again for visiting Hurricane City.